I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Good Liars, but they, God, they do some really funny stuff. They go to Trump rallies and interview ridiculous human beings. Why'd you decide to come out here to the Trump rally? Because I don't want that to be president. Are you talking about Kamala Harris? Yeah, that Kamala Harris. Why are they like this? Well, you an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot, he says. Why is he an idiot? And people like laughing behind him. Oh, they're just riotous. Well, you an idiot. <laughs> Uh, and and why 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 are you are you calling her that word? Because that's exactly what she is. I mean, I'd use the like I didn't want to put a swear right at the front end, but I'm sure that we can all. I, I'll let you see my mouth when I say it. He's calling her a. If you were unfamiliar, if you you couldn't tell or that, I think he's calling her a. Anyway, all right, let's keep listening. Are you are you calling her that word? Because that's exactly what she is. I mean, I'd use the c word, but my mama hates it when I say that. So. Right. And, uh, and why do you why do you think that uh, his mama doesn't care if he calls her a bit? Are you serious? Because that's exactly what she is. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. Right. What has she done that makes you? Yeah. What pudding? What are you talking about? She's done literally nothing. This is a fascinating thought exercise, if you will. Think about it. What has Kamala Harris done to earn their ire? Literally nothing. Everybody hates Joe Biden because, yeah, I don't know, they come up with a billion different reasons. But Kamala Harris walks in and is just like completely clean politically. There is nothing on her record that Republicans have to complain about right now. Don't get me wrong. It'll happen eventually. I'm sure things will come out and I'm sure that she's going to be attacked and all that other stuff. I mean, that's every politician. But that hasn't happened for her yet the slander machine, or honestly, like the research machine, whatever you want to say. It hasn't happened. What are you complaining about? What did she do? What's What proof is in the pudding here? C word, but my mama hates it when I say that. So. Right. And, uh, and why, do you, why do you think that? Because that's exactly what she is. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. Right. What has she done that makes you believe that? What has she not done? What is she... <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. She not... Now, what has she done? She's done nothing. Her commercials are full... full. So what's the what's the um, what's the one thing that you, that she hasn't done, or the one thing that she has done that makes you she's call her that? Communist. Right. She's a communist, pure and simple. And we don't need communists. Yeah. Okay. I'm still waiting for that one thing. Any second, she's not a communist. Like not even close. Not even a little bit. We don't need communists. Yeah, she's a Marxist. Do they know what these words mean? Are they aware of who Karl Marx was? Are they aware that he invented or that he wrote about communism? My mistake. I didn't mean communist. I meant Marxist. I'm sorry. Got to correct myself. As if he's read any of the literature, knows anything about this subject. Communist. Yeah, she's a Marxist. But what's the, what's the thing that she's done that makes her a communist? Everything. 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 From, from paying bail for the criminals, letting them out early. She did not do that. What what are you talking about? You know, releasing evil people and she's just evil. You actually think she's evil? Yes, I think she's evil. OK, so we are a minute into this video. And so far, I'm comfortable saying she's done nothing to upset this guy. Literally nothing. She could be a she could be just like Trump for all he knows. He has no clue because he's completely outside of this political bubble. He has no idea who she is or what her policies are or anything. Okay. Satan's who she worships. Oh, yeah. You think she worships Satan? I, I know she worships Satan. Well, how, do you, how do you know that? Because of her actions. Okay. Yeah, you think she actually worships Satan, Kamala Harris? I believe she sure does. Have you seen any evidence that that's, that's true? Yeah, I have. I, I, just through her actions and her attitude. Which actions? Oh my God, or, or attitudes, I take anything. Yeah, all the illegal immigrants they're letting in this country, every country in this world has emptied their penitentiaries and sent them over here and she just let them right in. That's bull but you know what? Immigration is actually phenomenally good for a country. I don't wanna go down this road right now, but why do people hate immigration? It is so helpful. It boosts an economy to have more, a bigger workforce in it. More workers means more, spending which means more industry it 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 makes a i'm sorry it makes an economy explode i don't understand there's one reason i can think of why people would be opposed to immigration and for the record the people coming over the border they're not immigrants they're by and large refugees 
escaping war-torn areas. And there's a humanitarian corridor at the border specifically to let those people in so that they can reach a UN refugee center to request asylum. That's why they're coming over the border. These people live in another dimension. And for some reason, immigration is like one of the top political issues. It's going to make or break the election, that and abortion. And then that makes you believe she's she's worshiping Satan? Yeah, because of all the children. That, oh, I don't. Yeah, because of all the children. I don't want to talk about it, man. All the children. Oh, my God, dude. Get help. Please get help. It gets worse, if you can believe this. Check this clip out. Here's another one about Donald Trump and how incredible he is. Trump is the closest thing to God. Trump is the closest thing to God? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. He's what's going to fix this nation. This nation's corrupt. We're all split. America used to be all together. Yeah. Now we're all split up. Right. Why? We need to come back together. The only person who's going to mold us is God first and then Trump. God, then Trump. God, then Trump. Absolutely. But if God's not there, Trump's not going to come out. I'll say that. Kamala comes out, Satan's out, and you better be scared. So, so you, you believe that, that Trump is, is picked by God? I believe so. I believe that Trump is blessed by God. I believe that Trump has come from blessed parents. His parents worked for what they had. His parents made him, right. molded him to become the person that he is. His parents worked for what they had. Why didn't she say Trump worked for what he has? Why didn't she point that one out? You think maybe because he didn't? So Trump is selling Bibles for $60. Okay. Is that He's profiting off of selling Bibles. Is that, a, is that a godly thing to do? Is it a godly thing for the Democrats to be okay with killing? Ha We're not talking about Democrats. We're talking about Trump. You said he's godly. Is he godly or not? This is a to quoque fallacy, I think is what it's called. Also known as the no you fallacy. <laughs> you are a bad person. So anything that I do is justified. Godly thing to do. Is it a godly thing for the Democrats to be okay with killing their babies? Is that okay? I guess I, you they just you, you answered my question with another question. Okay. Just answer this question. Is it a godly thing to do for Trump to be? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a business. He's a businessman. That's what this country needs. What do we need? And, and if the business is selling the Bible, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. What are churches doing? When you go to church, don't they ask you for a dollar? Don't they ask you to do this and that? Churches are businesses. This whole country's a business. No, 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 no. Churches are charities. They're supposed to run like charities, but they are very much like businesses unfortunately they're not supposed to operate that way they're supposed to they're they're tax exempt so that they can contribute to society a business's motive is to make more money a church's motive or any nonprofit organization should be to help people like the wounded warrior project terrible organization in my knowledge but it's supposed to help veterans it's supposed to fill gaps that government is not filling when it should be. Like veterans don't have a place to live or they need mental health care or whatever. Charities come in and fill that gap that government is like dropping the ball with. The Wounded Warrior Project's motive should not be profit. It should be charity. Church's motive should be charity. And the government shouldn't have a profit motive. You know, there are some things that in the economy, you, you cannot negotiate on. You need it. It's an inelastic demand. You must have an appendix removed if it's about to burst, and you will pay literally any amount of money for that, $100,000 if that's what it takes, and pay it off for the rest of your life, or you die, one or the other. That's an inelastic demand, as opposed to buying, I don't know, what, what do kids buy nowadays? tape decks, new boom boxes or record players or whatever the hell they're using. Anyway, that's an elastic demand. People don't need that stuff. Government is full of inelastic demands. They should be providing things that are like inelastic demands, like health care, for example, or, um, you know, Social Security, uh, Medicare and Medicaid, those types of things. That's what government should be doing. It should not be a businessman at the top of government. It should not. That's a bad thing. And, I, you know, if the previous four years didn't show that from when Trump was in office, I don't know what will. So that's, those are the good liars, dude. I like the good liars a lot. They're really funny. I have a bunch of stuff from them, actually. But, you know, let's just go back for a second and talk about some of the other examples of Trump nutcases saying that he's like God, basically. Check this one out. This one is from mid-December 2023. 
I don't want to say he's perfect. The only perfect person that ever walked this earth was Jesus. But he is he was wonderful in office for four years and he proved that. So what is no, he wasn't the, about Trump that you love so much? Uh, number one, he's a godly man. He, no, where are we talking about the same guy? He, he's working for God for darn sure. Um, number two, he really cares about us. He cares about us. He cares about what happens to us. He cares about our country. Boy, this is an awkward thing for her to say in light of all the stuff Trump is doing right now, right? Like getting uh, rallies or getting his um, arranging rallies and then just not showing up for like four hours, not sending buses around to bring people to their cars or any of that other stuff. Yeah, that one is awkward. He didn't come in there because he wanted the money. He's got money. He no, he wanted the power, of course. Yes. When rich people have reached peak richness, now they want power. That's why Elon Musk is doing what he's doing. Are you kidding me with this? He's, he's coming there because he is actually working for God and he wants to help us and he wants to get us to a good. He wants to make America great again. And I, I you know, it's true. It is not true. It's literally the exact opposite of true. You know, but I, I, I think he's going to make it even greater because I don't think no matter what they try to do to stop him, he's going to come back because he's working for God and God's on his side. Absolutely. He is. Oh, my God, dude. Well, it gets even weirder than that. You think that one is the weirdest clip I've got? Oh, no. Check this out. God bows down to President Donald Trump, declares he is perfect. Trump 2020. What a wild sign to put on your front lawn. Right. What a wild thing to have on your front lawn. And then, of course, there's that book by Helgard Muller. You guys remember that book? Uh, Donald J. Trump, the son of man, the Christ. Remember that? That was uh, passed around rallies for a while. I read that whole book on air. It was crazy. It was an insane book to read. Anyway, I don't know if you guys remember this, but like forever ago, there's this woman, Natasha Owens. She wrote a song about Donald Trump and how great he is. I haven't talked about this in forever. I had to remove the music part. So all you're going to hear is the voice. It's AI enhanced voice only. But just give this a listen. I'm not saying he's something divine. He gets in trouble bigly time after time. He's controversial, but one thing is true. Imperfect people, a perfect God can use. I'm standing with the chosen one. The chosen one. This is so bad, dude. Oh, my God. It's so bad. I am the chosen one. Ain't no stopping what the Lord's begun. He's only human like you and me. Just a chosen one. Somebody had to the do it. chosen one. It's so bad, dude. Oh, my God. That's Laura Trump singing. I don't think so. Is it? Is that? No, it's Natasha Owens, I believe. Isn't it Natasha Owens? Anyway, this is just, this is vomit-inducing bad. This great nation is under attack. And its real leader has arrows in his back. So many. Oh, my God, his, his great leader has arrows in his back. They show pictures of Biden, Fannie Willis, Alvin Bragg, Letitia James and Jack Smith. So many greet him with Judas kiss. Right, now they're showing all the Republicans that have spoken out against him. Um, Michael Cohen, I guess he's not really a Republican. Uh, Michael Bolton. No, is that his name? Michael Bolton? John Bolton. OK, I think of the singer. My mistake. Yeah, John Bolton. I was thinking office space, actually. But God gave us a warrior for such a time as this. I'm standing with the chosen one. Ain't no stopping what the Lord's begun. This is some wild propaganda, dude. Oh, my God. And look at this, like army guys running toward Donald Trump as he just stands there looking like a fool. It's just so painfully stupid. It's just disgustingly, painfully stupid. And for the record, you, you remember earlier that girl said, Is the closest thing to God. Trump is the closest thing to absolutely, God, really? Absolutely, absolutely. He's what's going to fix this nation. This nation's corrupt. We're all split. America used to be all together. Yeah, that whole all together thing, we're all split. 
I don't mean to keep bringing it back to this, but I wrote a book about this. Was Hitler an atheist? It's out now, just released. So check it out. Link in the description. It's on Amazon and Audible. Was Hitler an atheist? Anyway, when Hitler ran for his election, he was the protest vote. People hated him. He was a colossal scumbag. No one wanted Hitler in practically like 10 percent of the country or, or 15 percent maybe wanted him. And he lost. He lost his election. And then he was appointed chancellor by the president. Anyway, that that's neither here nor there. When he ran for office, he ran as the unity candidate. Hitler pretended that he was going to unify the country and set things right and all this other. Why is it that every time somebody is like controversial as they pretend that they're the unity candidate? Why? Why do people do that? I mean, Biden has unified the country more than Trump has by far, not to say he has unified it, but certainly more than Trump. And he didn't talk about being the unity candidate nonstop, didn't cram that down everyone's throats. 36% to von Hindenburg's 53%. There you go. Uh, thanks for the uh, statistics on that. Did not have that. The election took place in 1932, I believe. And after he took the chancellery, they dissolved the Reichstag. They commonly do that. Uh, it just means they they hold new elections, basically. And it happened every time a new one was appointed, pretty much, to cut, try to consolidate power and show support or whatever. Anyway, that was in 1933. Ain't no stopping what the Lord's begun. He's only human like you and me. Oh, my God, dude. Look at this woman. Oh, my God. What is going on here? She's clapping her hands into bloody nubs right now. <laughs> Why? Who is this? I don't know who this woman is. Does anybody know who this is? I'm afraid if I Google lens this, then some crazy shit's going to pop up because she's like crying her eyes out. Who is this woman? Is this just some rando? Is that Ben Carson's wife? No, nah. no, nah, his wife's black. Anyway, I don't know, but I wonder if her hands still exist or if she just had to have, if she has prosthetics now because she clapped them so raw. Woman like you and me, just a chosen one. The chosen one. By the way, where is Melania? I see her in all these videos. Where is she right now, I wonder? Is she with her uh, boyfriend or something? Brothers and sisters, lay down your stones. There's only one God and he's still on the throne. Oh, my God. Well, the AI did a really good job of isolating the voice, right? Oh, man. I'm standing with the chosen one. Ain't no stopping what the Lord's begun. He's only human like you and me. Oh, I remember that. Oh, my God. They're showing all these stupid moments, like throwing paper towels to people who are suffering from a hurricane, right? And catering the White House with Big Macs. You guys remember this? They're playing all the stupid shit. I love it. Like you and me, just the chosen one. The chosen one. He stands for me. Okay, now they're just got showing him going and talking to people or whatever. He stands for you. He stands for freedom. He stands for truth. Trump is the chosen one. What a wild thing to say, right? He's the chosen one. God bless. Just wild, man. I don't know. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. This is honestly insane, but so entertaining to me.